In this tutorial about exporting flipbooks from InDesign, I want to just go over briefly a few of the interactive features that you wouldn't normally include in a print document. For example, here where it says subscribe to my email list at essentialabsurdities.com, because I'm going to put this online, I want it to be a live link. And let me put some of these other things away that I'll be getting to later. First of all, I want to open, this is Window, Interactive, and I want to open this Hyperlinks palette, which is already open here. You'll notice there are a bunch of links in it already, and these are the internal links that were generated by InDesign's Table of Contents feature, so I can link through the site. Now, what I want to do here is add a new hyperlink destination. That hyperlink destination is going to be a URL. I'm going to call it EAP for Essential Absurdities Press and this is going to be www.essentialabsurdities.com I'm going to hit OK then I'm going to hit this link here I'm going to choose a nice RGB color for it so it stands out. I'm not going to get too picky about it because I'm trying to just get through the demo. And then in my character palette, I'm going to, oops, character, I'm just going to choose underline. So you can see this now looks like a hyperlink. People will know that it's clickable. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click on it. Let me get this higher on the screen so that you can see. Control click. And where it says interactive, this becomes a new hyperlink. And you can see it's already set to EAP, which is the name of the link I added to my list. So that's great. Another thing I'd like to do is I have a table of illustrations in this book. And I'm not going to do all of them right now. But I can see that there is this. Oh, found a typo. Great. Isleta Puerto Rico to St. Thomas Virgin Islands. There's an illustration, a nautical chart in this book. I'm going to go to page 20. I'm going to select any object on the page. And under hyperlinks, I'm going to say new hyperlink destination, a place to link to. This is page 20. I can just leave that name, page 20. I could call it Isleta, anything I want. I don't want the zoom to change, so I'm going to leave that. And now I'm going to go back to my table of illustrations. I'm going to highlight this first piece. Hit that control click. Under interactive, I'm going to choose new hyperlink. Instead of linking to a URL, I'm going to link to this page 20. I could make this a link. I could color it or underline. Um, what I've chosen to do in my other book is just put a note that the table of contents is interactive. So either way works. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose a blue, go to my character palette, make this underline, and now when I export this, it'll take a moment. It's doing a lot of work, especially with all of those gradients on each page. And Flash also converts all of your text to, um, it, it excludes any characters from a typeface that you're not using for efficiency and converts everything to vector outlines. So here we go. If I click on this, I'm going to get an error because I'm running it on my local system. As soon as I put this online, that won't be a problem anymore. It's just part of Flash's security settings. And if I go into the table of contents, these all work. Um, because I use the table of contents feature, but here's this link and I should be able to go directly to page 20. So that's working. One other thing we can do very easily, I'm just going to show you in my other book, is I've got this 
selected here, I'm going to go to Window Interactive Buttons and <clears throat> turn those off for the moment. What I did is I specified a rollover state by just clicking here and I made in my effects palette I made this 50% so when you roll over you get 50% and I can simply say on release go to URL and I'm going to paste in the address to this book on Amazon so that should be a live link so we have the ability to create buttons with rollover states here's the normal state and we also have the ability to link uh, internally to pages if you're making a portfolio site for example you could have a thumbnail area and you could link each thumbnail to a different page in your website in your in your flipbook uh, and you could add rollover states to those thumbnails and things like that so we've got standard hyperlinks we've got buttons and then internal page links any of which can be combined